Oh my God! Jesus! Why? 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 Why is this happening now? Okay, some breaking news for you guys. If you didn't know, WWE just reported that Asuka has relinquished her NXT Women's title at 523 days due to that collarbone injury she suffered against Ember Moon at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 3. And I'm just, oh, I'm crushed. I'm crushed by it. Shino said he saw it coming, and I believe he saw it coming, but I'm crushed. This sucks, guys. I know she could have just stayed off of television for six to eight weeks till we got to November and the comeback at TakeOver. We could have did that, but we didn't do that. Now we have to figure out what the NXT Women's Division is going to do now. Not saying the NXT Women's Division is in turmoil or anything, because you do have some great talent there. You have Nikki Cross, you have Ember Moon, you have Kimberly, Ruby Riot. I forgot her name, it's not Kimberly anymore, it's Abby Lath. You have the ladies of the Mae Young Classic, but it's just not going to feel the same anymore. Asuka had this special vibe when it came to the NXT Women's Division, and now that vibe is being taken away from us, and it just blows, man, it blows. And I wish her a speedy recovery, but I know if she's not being used on TV, she could have stayed at home for six to eight weeks or however long and just come back at TakeOver. But no, no, no. I know injuries aren't nothing to mess with, but man, could you imagine the winner of the Mae Young Classic builds up as this this awesome woman. She's just winning matches left and right. She's also undefeated. And then she's about to get a match with Asuka. You know, takeovers coming up, and then Oscar comes back to just applause and every just people so excited. It, it would be like a grand return, and for her, and then she could lose there because of course she's not a hundred percent. And the new lady takes over the NXT Women's Division, but I understand they have a show to run, and they can't do that. But that's just a nice fantasy I would have. But here's WWE's official statement on what's going on with Oscar. Weird, they don't mention the injury at all. And here's their words. After a dominant performance and historic 500-plus day reign as NXT Women's Champion, the Empress of Tomorrow looks to her future for new opportunities in WWE, though no specific details are known at this time. Man, this blows, y'all. This blows. This blows. There have been reports that Asuka has been talking to uh, Daniel Bryan or Kurt Angle, and someone reported that Asuka's going to Raw. I feel like she'd be more protected on SmackDown Live, but Vince wants what Vince wants, and if Vince wants on Raw, she'll be on Raw. I don't think it'll be a good fit, but maybe, maybe it could be. Maybe it could be. I could be completely wrong about this. Asuka has relinquished her NXT Women's Championship. This blows. I'm pissed off about it because, man, man, they would just let her rest. She could have came back and had one more match at TakeOver. I know I'm probably being selfish about this, but uh, I'm gutted by this, y'all. I'm gutted by this. Asuka is no longer the NXT Women's Champion. I'm MCZX. That's been some breaking news for y'all. And Godspeed, Asuka. I hope to see you back in the ring and tear some more shit up and be undefeated for another 500 days because you deserve it. You're that damn good. All right, later.